right, we have Dolly and Spartacus's puppies here. And they're going to be five weeks on Wednesday. Today's Monday. And I have changed the kind of maroon red colored female to a bright red. So you can kind of see that a little more clearly and different from pink. And also orange male. They all started chewing on that collar and it was getting frayed. So I put yellow on orange. So the males are black and yellow, and the females are red, pink, and purple. And it is now time to start the picking process. These guys are really doing good. Thankfully, they've been a really advanced litter, which is good for trying to be Dolly is not really wanting to feed him anymore, so that's another. She's weaned him off, and they get to be with her just a little bit, a couple times a day now. So they're really doing good, and I would say if, if you want them to be ready for Christmas... The 23rd... So we can discuss that with pickup dates, but we should. Everything's a little bit sped up in this litter than what I'm usually used to, um, just because a few people are trying to get them for Christmas. That's black male, by the way. Yellow male, pink female, red female, purple female. So um, I'm going to say that we can start trying to schedule pickup dates, especially also since it is Christmas and it's just a crazy time of year. So... Um, it's also time to start picking these guys. So it is time for the number one male person, which I'll have to look it up and let you know in the email along with all the other details. But and the number one female person to pick out their puppy. And the rest of you guys, like the other female buyers, you can um, put your number, figure out who like your top two would be and we'll kind of go from there. And um, just make sure when you do your selection, you click reply all to the email I send out with all the directions. And just let everybody know your choice so that they know as soon as I know. And then the next person can start. So this is purple here. There's red. Females here, and that's yellow male. Oh, see, what was that? Hey, where's number five? Where'd you go, number five? Pink has definitely seemed to be the most outgoing, adventurous female that I've seen. Um, purple seems to be the most passive female, kind of. And when I say this, they are Airedale puppies. So that means they are going to be energetic and playful and ornery and wild sometimes so sometimes people are afraid when I say oh this one's more laid back that they're not going to get that that playful Airedale and and you will they're an Airedale for sure um red has kind of been really kind of middle of the road between the other two females red is bigger than um pink and purple Pink and purple are about the same size. Purple is a hair on the smaller size. But red is definitely bigger. It's like there's pink and red. I don't know if you can even tell from the... And here comes purple back there. Here, boys, let's stay out of that for a second. But she's definitely bigger. And out of the two boys, yellow and black, they're bigger than all three of these females. Black is solid. He's going to be a big boy, I would say. And size is one of those things you just absolutely cannot predict. Obviously, if you pick the biggest puppy, your chances are that you're going to get a, a big dog. And if you pick the smallest, your chances are you're going to get a small one. But I've seen it go completely the opposite way, that the smallest puppy will end up being the biggest, and the biggest will just kind of stop growing at, you know, nine months old. And so 
I'm just throwing that out there. If you're like, oh, well, I don't want to for sure end up with the biggest, you know, it's a guess. It's best guess. But I would guess that Black is going to be pretty big and solid. Um, he's just really solid. <laughs> out of the two males, boy, Black seems to be a little bit, ah, oh boy, but yellow too. They've been kind of going back and forth, and I haven't noticed too terrible much difference. This litter has been pretty similar, really. I haven't had a dra I don't have in this litter a drastic difference between um, between puppies, like as far as super energetic and more laid back. There's yellow and pink. Get a preview of their playing. It's yellow and red. Yellow, they're going to think you're just mean. But they all do that. <laughs> Come here, guys. It's red, yellow. Come here. Here comes pink. Oh, did you fall? Hey. Come here. Pink and black. He's like, how do I get around this? Come here. Or sorry, purple and black. They're both black stuck under the chair and purple's trying to figure out how to get around the fence. There you go. Come on. You did it. Yay. Come on. Good job. Kind of directionally not so sound, huh? You're like me. That's black. He's yellow. Coming to say hi, huh? Hi, hi. So with this litter, I, I'm really trying to pick out differences for you, but like I said, there hasn't been any drastic differences. Some litters I will have one that is like bouncing off the wall, energetic and crazy. And some litters, I'll have one that's just so super quiet. And you're, you know, you want those kind of puppies, you want to make sure go to the right kind of home. And we've been trying to breed the last, well, really since we got judged, it's now been quite a long time. Um, Judd's actually retired now, but Thor's his son. And Dolly is an offspring of them as well. But since we have had those bloodlines, our puppies have been way more laid back and passive. And I shouldn't say laid back and passive, but there's not been the extreme personalities. They've all been much more middle of the road, which is what we have been trying for. So I'm really happy with the personalities in this litter. And, and, and it's a good thing that there's not drastic differences. But I hope this helps, and I hope you're able to kind of see some differences and be able to pick out some differences. I'll just kind of try to follow around one puppy if, for a little bit. So this is yellow male. That's red male. And the foreground here is, or sorry, red female. This is black male. And behind there was purple. That's black, that's red. It's pink back there. And black. Yellow, you went crawling under the treadmill, didn't you? Come here, guys! Where'd you all go? Where'd you go, yellow? Come here! Come here! It's black and pink and red. Come here! Oh, yellow is under the treadmill. I know. <laughs> Got under there and can't get out now, huh? Oh, it's okay. Come on. Here. Yeah. There's yellow. Pink, yellow, red, purple, 
black. I don't know. Black, like I said, black and yellow are so similar. I think black maybe is a hair more kind of independent. Maybe a hair more active. Those two are really similar. So it's red, purple, pink, yellow, black. Yellow? Oh, now black's going under there. No more going under that treadmill. Pink, black, purple. Pink, black, yellow, purple, red. So I really hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions at all and let the picking begin.